The Prentice also Heating and Air Coaches Quarter, fueled by Donut Country and McDonald's Murfreesboro on FM 101.9 and AM 1450 Murfreesboro, FM 100.5 Smyrna, and streaming at WGNSSports.com. Welcome back to the Coaches Show, brought to you by Dan France Concrete, a licensed and insured residential and commercial concrete construction contractor serving Middle Tennessee. That's Dan France Concrete. Time to talk Blackman football this morning. The head coach, Matt Kreisky, joins us here this morning. And uh, you brought your assistant coach with you, too, I see. Yeah, I think he wants to come now since y'all got these donuts out here. Hey, you know, the more the merrier. Yeah. We've got uh, good donuts every Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. Coach, uh, started the season on the road last night at I, I said it a couple of times last night, maybe one of the toughest places to go play in Brentwood, and, and they're always solid. Yeah, that was a great environment. Um, Got to give a shout-out to our, our fans. We had a huge following uh, last night at Brentwood. It was great to see an unbelievable student section, um, unbelievable fans there to support these young men last night. Um, it was a great atmosphere for our Friday night, first Friday night high school football game this year. So uh, talk to me just kind of like the – the goings on of a of a football game and being the first one of the season and you've got some experienced players and new players and how all of that works i mean when you do anything for the the first official time you know the it's i guess makes a coach pull their hair out because you've done it hundreds of times yeah (laughs) um yeah it's it's different um because you know you got three uh we we had three scrimmages um you know the last two we really try to simulate just like it's going to be a friday night game but as you know it's it's not the kids know it's not so mentally you know it's not there so then last you know last night it was the the first one so getting out there for for pre-game warming up and, and getting all those jitters out and then you know Get, getting the kickoff um you know it's just it's new to everybody and and I, I really thought we started off off well um i thought we did a did a great job coming out the gate i was really proud of the kids um and how we started the game uh now we just gotta get get the offensive going and and play a complete uh four quarter game um you know i thought you know all night the kids played hard and did everything we asked them to do um you know we were in a good situation up 14 to 3 um you know i thought jonathan hamby was playing well um, you know, the offensive line did a great job last night. Um, you know, and then defensively, can't say enough about our defense. I believe it was like 33 or 36 yards, total yards they had, uh, Brentwood had at halftime. That's, that's pretty amazing. Let's talk about the defensive side of the ball first. You know, when you can hold a team to – less than 100 yards, really, total offense in the first half, you're doing pretty good. Yes, um, you know – what helped them out too, you know, we were moving the ball a little bit. We wasn't having them uh, stay on stay on the field uh, as long. Um, you know, they were doing a, doing a great job. We've got a, you know, great leaders on that defensive side of the ball. You know, anchored down by D line by Archie Roseman, a senior. Uh, then we got two inside linebackers that are that are seniors, Ethan Carson and Rodney Irvin. Um, then out the out, outside, uh, Paul Langford is is playing well. Uh, and then secondary, we have got some guys that came back from last year, Jalen Anderson. Um, you know. All those guys that had a lot of experience last year, went through a lot of growing growing pains last year, uh, are doing a great job and and everything that we've asked them to do. And it's just their mentality. You know, they they want to win, not the game, but they want to win every single rep. And that's that's a very important core group for you as as being second year Blackman. You're building a foundation, but these kids have to be the one to do it. I mean, you're just the coach and you know um working toward goals and working toward winning seasons and winning conferences and and making playoff runs and and that that's a process and i think sometimes we get frustrated at the process but it is yeah yeah you know everybody you know we want to you know win now um you know and it's you know of course we all we all do um you know and i hope last night you know we can look back five six weeks from now and realize you know we learned a lot from game one what we need to improve on you know um you know i I don't put it on the kids i put it on on myself you know it starts with me um i feel like i did some things that that hurt the the kids last night so i've got to put them in a better position um when we get in those situations um where we can excel and um you know when we're up 14 to 3 um and, and go up 21-3, 21-3, you know, instead of, instead of offensively stalling out. So, um, you know, it, it wasn't all on the kids. 
Um, I, I think it's, you know, it's, it starts with me. I did some things that, that I need to correct and get adjusted, adjusted. And, um, and, and we'll, as we move forward, we're going to get those things fixed. We're talking Blackman football. Matt Kreisky uh, is here with us. Now, I'm a little fuzzy on exactly how the scoring went, but I know you led uh, – for first half, maybe first three quarters. How did how did it kind yes, of work? Yeah, we got that? up. Um, you know, at halftime it was it was seven to three. Um, you know, I felt like um, coming out of halftime, I told the coaches, you know, I would like to uh, get Jaden Jaden guy the ball early, uh, see what he can. We we didn't have many. I think he had maybe one touch uh, in in the first half, but I felt like if we got him the ball early, um, maybe we could go up fourteen to three. Um, we were able we were able to hit, hit him on a deep ball. Uh, he scored a touchdown, so we went up 14-3. We're feeling pretty pretty good. Um, you know, next series, our defense comes out. You know, we make a stop. Um, so we're up 14-3 to three, uh, midway through the third quarter. Um, you know, we kind of – you know, if, if we get going and grind the ball out, um, you know, keep moving the ball, keep our defense off the field, I felt like, and, and, and get some points off that next drive, I felt like we could really put the game away. We didn't capitalize – um when we needed to um and we let we let brentwood kind of e- ease back in the, in the game um you know and you can't do that uh ever, at all with the brentwood team you know when they had ron coach ron crawford now coach clinch finch you know those guys are always well prepared have their, have their teams well prepared um and so you know we, we let them hang around um and once you let a, a good team like that hang around um they were able to uh you know, get going and um, get some momentum. And can, the, the, you saw the game kind of change right there towards the end of the third quarter and the beginning of the fourth. And when you're on the road at their place and that team gets momentum late, it's it's even more difficult for the opposing team to to regain that momentum. And, and you know, it's it's almost like they start going downhill. It's, it's hard to stop the rolling ball. Yeah, yeah, you could tell we uh, – had our defense out on the field a little too long. Um, they were getting it was it was obvious they were getting gassed. Um, you know, so you know we got to fi- find ways that um, you know that they're, they're not on the field as as much as they were last night. Um, you know, that's again that, like I said earlier that that starts with me. I got to find ways that that in, in those situations we've got to be successful on offense and then keep the change moving moving and uh, letting the, those guys get a little bit more rest um, so they'll, they'll be ready when they come back out for the next series. Matt, uh, a couple of stats on some of the offensive players last night. Uh, your quarterback, Hamby, 11 of 17 passing, almost 160 yards and uh, a touchdown. Uh, Kemp rushed for almost 100 yards on uh, 13, 14 carries, had uh, a touchdown in there, so he was uh, your workhorse as well. And you mentioned Jaden. Uh, Jaden Guy three um, caught three passes for almost uh, over 110 yards and a, a touchdown last night. So you, you, you've you've definitely got um, these kids here who are, are working hard for you, and I know others had good stats too. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, again, it starts with up front. I thought we were running the ball well early. Um, thought we did 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 pretty much all game. Um, you know, those guys did, did a great job. Um, you know, uh, with. Hamby coming out, starting his first game, you could tell there was a little little nerves there, but he kind of, you know, st- started to settle down and started to play, um, you know. And I know each week he's going to he's going to get better, um, like you said. And we've got to find ways to get uh, Jaden Guy the ball more, you know, just create, you know, more opportunities for him, him and other guys. You know, Brylon O'Dor, you know, John Dragu, those guys can also uh, open up some things. So we've got to find ways uh, to help Hamby, get, you know, get get them the ball, um, you know, where he's not thinking much and get the ball out of his hands. Uh, and he's got a great arm. Um, so we've got to do things, be more creative to help him out. Well, um, I've always heard, and, and you've been around the game long enough uh, to know, but – you really kind of see the the biggest growth in in a team from one week to the next between weeks one and weeks two. Uh, it, it, you think that's the case? I, I do. You know, are we going to come back Monday feeling sorry for ourselves because we didn't we didn't win last Friday? Are we going to come back Monday ready to work and improve on, on the areas that we need to improve on? Um, if we do that, like I feel like we will, um, I think you'll see a big improvement from week one to week two. You also have uh, a county team coming in to play, and I don't care if Stewart's Creek is in Smyrna. If you are in Rutherford County, you want to beat 
the other team that's in Rutherford County that you're playing. And, you know, it, it's pretty special that we've kind of got that type of rivalry. You've, of course, been in a county that has, uh, you know, Williamson County obviously had those big rivalries. So, I mean, these these are pretty special games. And when they're non-league games, too, it you know, it, it – it really helps to bring the crowd and excitement and gets the kids all pumped up. Yeah, yeah. As you look at our schedule, you know, I don't think there's a any week in there that you can really just. I feel like I feel relaxed. Um, you know, week in and week out, I feel like we've got we're going to get some great competition. And like you said, Stewart's Creek's going to come come out. They're going to be ready to play. They're going to bring bring a crowd. It's going to be a, a nice place, a nice atmosphere next week uh, at at Blackman. Um, you know, I was able to watch about 30 minutes of film before I get, came over here. You know, offensively, they're going to be able to run the ball. they got a very athletic quarterback. Um, you know, their tailback last night, uh, I think he broke about a 70-yard run. Uh, so we've got to be able to contain those guys. You know, defensively, they look like they were they're pretty fast defensively. They're going to move around and fly the football. Um, you know, they got after us last year. Uh, and so we we got to be ready, like we said. You know, we've got to improve. We got to start with Monday. We got to improve and get better, and not feel sorry for ourselves, and and get ready for the week two, two game. So uh, we can our the goals we have set out for our, this season. We've got to we've got to keep moving toward those. Man, it's also uh, first time of the year hosting and there's a lot that goes into a football game day anymore and i know from the administration staff you, you've got a lot of people that uh that make that go so you can focus on, on the football game but i mean it it takes everybody at blackman oh yes i can't say enough about mr lawless and, and his his crew that he gets it done you know it's his first school that i've been at where i don't have to really worry about any of those things and they want me just to focus on coaching the game and i really appreciate everything that they do from the game day set up everything getting ready off the field things that that he takes care of with with him and his athletic staff they do an unbelievable job and i'm really appreciative of them well he is my uh next text this morning because that's where we're going to be next week is at uh your place as stewart's creek comes in and uh it's it's always great um he, he's he's really done a, a fine job and mr smith everybody yes uh, you know just uh a1 out there at blackman so we look forward to coming out to uh your place next friday night coach thank you i appreciate you having absolutely me on today. matt kreisky joining us the head coach of the blackman blaze here on the coaches show which is brought to you by the law offices of john day providing superior legal representation to injury victims and their families find out more at johndaylegal.com Stickers, labels, we do a lot of direct mail.